everybody. I was thinking about fall activities and I actually made a list of like a year ago and I've added to it. It's just so good. Fun, a lot of free activities that you can do with your family. There's some other ideas too in this video. So uh, watch this whole video so and make a list. I'll try to list everything also down in the, the description box below. I divided up the categories into food ideas and activity ideas. If you're into fall type of food, um, I'm going to be doing that second and I'm going to be doing the activities first. The first one is pretty common. That one would be apple orchard, like I mentioned earlier, that most people know about just going to an apple orchard, which at an apple orchard you can do apple picking. Second one is apple or pumpkin painting. Pumpkin carving is kind of fun, but it's sometimes the pumpkins kind of like rot and decay quickly. So pumpkin painting is a fun one where you can pick up a couple of acrylic paints at a store for like a dollar and then just paint your pumpkin, which I think is really cute. This next one is so funny and I always think of that episode from The Office whenever I think about apple bobbing. I think about that one time Erin put her head in the water and people were like counting and they're like, wow, she's been under for like a minute and then she comes up without any apples. And they're all like, what were you doing? And she was like, I ate two. So that's kind of like the memory I have whenever I think of apple bobbing, but that's a really fun activity to do. Um, but if you do that, make sure you kind of like take the stems off the apples first because that's that's just a cheater's way of doing the apple bobbing. <laughs> this next one is so fun and you could probably do it for free if you can kind of like look around and find some people to help you with it, but that is scarecrow building and you can do it for free if you find maybe some clothes people want to get rid of and some hay or some type of a stuffing that you can use for scarecrow building as well as maybe like some type of a steak, but um, that's just so fun. It's comparable to just snowman building in the winter time. This next activity is probably my favorite one and that is um, go thrift shopping for sweaters and there are so many beautiful sweaters at the thrift store early on in the season because they haven't been too picked over so I really encourage you if you want to do something fun in the fall time especially like in August maybe early September is go to the thrift store and go thrifting for sweaters you can find so many really cute sweaters there um go on a hayride those are a lot of fun usually if you find somewhere where you can go on a hayride usually it goes through really beautiful scenery the next one is going on a 5k uh, like a fall themed 5k a lot of times you can do like a turkey trot over thanksgiving those are fun but the weather is so beautiful in the fall for a 5k and then when you're done with the 5k it's always fun to do hot chocolate or coffee just because the air is nice and crisp and you can throw on a hoodie and a sweater after because your body is cooling down so a fall 5k or some type of a fun run in the fall is always a good idea and because it is such nice weather out it's really good a good idea and a good time to go camping outside I would suggest um, even just camping in your backyard bringing out your laptop and watching a movie and just enjoying the outside that way if you have a time you are away from the bugs and it's just kind of a fun activity especially if you have kids this next one is only probably for the Midwest, but that is to go find a corn maze. Usually you have to pay some type of admission. It might be like $5 per person. And then this activity can be thrown in with a lot of the other activities, but that is a bonfire. This next one is kind of like a more crafty type of one if you are more of a crafty type of person. And that is to make a fall garland. And I'm going to uh, link um, one of the uh, tutorials that I found uh, down below in the description but I thought it was such a cool idea you buy like corn husks and you get pine cones and a lot of these things you could even get for free and you just string them together with a needle and thread and it makes this really pretty fall garland so I'm gonna try to link that down below if I can find it but um, you just basically you can go out on a nature walk even and find pine cones and you could get some corn husks and you just kind of like make your own fall garland, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but then also with the crafty side of things, and if you're not crafty, you can always buy these, but you can make a fall themed pillowcase for throw pillows. If you're not crafty, you can always buy 
fall themed pillowcases on Amazon but um, those are kind of fun to have thrown around on a couch or a chair just kind of cute and cushy <laughs> this next one is um, right like in the top three ideas and that is to get your family pictures done it is the perfect time for family pictures and it's so beautiful the colors it's nice and cool so like nobody is like sweating and it also is a really nice time just to um, take pictures because then if you want to use pictures for like a Christmas card without having everybody be like a year difference like from last year it's a really nice time to get those picture family pictures done this is kind of like a new trend so that's why I'm including it um, and that would be this is another crafty one but um, make like a fall cross stitch I think that would be so fun to do like a fall cross stitch and maybe watch a movie while you're just making a cross stitch I think that would be a lot of fun and then this next one is also a crafty idea is to get an old ceramic jar or vase maybe from the thrift store maybe it's not like in any colors that you like and then buy a color you like like a neutral color and paint that ceramic jar or vase and then you can use it for fall flower displays okay so now that we have done the activities let's talk about food <laughs> of course chili and cornbread is a must do for fall especially if you're doing like a chili bake-off if you have a bunch of friends that you want to get together or a chili cook-off I think is what they're called and you just basically have a chili making competition that's a lot of fun um, apple cider donuts like I mentioned you can buy or you can make them um, homemade apple cider oh it smells so good you can make it in the crock pot and then your house smells amazing with a little cinnamon and nutmeg um, popcorn is I know that's like a, a year-round thing but it's a lot of fun to have popcorn and incorporate that into one of the activities say if you're like pumpkin painting and eating popcorn it's just a fun little extra to have um, the next one is apple slushies you can get that, those at some apple orchards but you just basically freeze apple cider and then you can kind of like mush it up and it makes an apple cider slushy, which is good. Especially if you live in like a hotter climate and you still want to do something that's like fall themed, it's nice and refreshing. Make, and then I wrote down make or buy apple pie. There's a lot of places you can buy it from. It's fun to make it, um, but it's fun to just have it on hand and also incorporate an apple pie with one of these activities. This next one is a lot of fun for doing it yourself and that is to make caramel apples. You can make caramel in a crock pot and then you can have other toppings to put with the caramel if that's what you like. But making caramel apples is a lot of fun. Okay, these next two things are just kind of like my personal favorites, but um, I love making pumpkin muffins and I have a really good recipe that's older than I am and I'm going to put that also down in the description box, but making pumpkin muffins or pumpkin bread is so yummy, especially with like a cup of coffee in the morning or the afternoon. It's such a good combination. And then the last item as far as food goes that is really fun to have with like a hayride or some type of other activity where you're just kind of like hanging out with friends or family is to make pretzels like not like little pretzels but like those big doughy ones and I have a really good hack for this and I'm talking to you like I do my friends and family because I think you guys should know this at Sam's Club in their deli area and probably even Costco but at Sam's Club you can go to the deli area you cannot buy this in their frozen section so you have to go to the deli little cafe area at Sam's Club and you can buy a box of their frozen soft baked pretzels they're they're partially baked so you bring them home and they're so inexpensive they're like if you buy them at the deli cafe they're they're a dollar but if you buy them just like in a package of 36 which is a lot it's only like $30 and they're like these giant pretzels like like two people can split a pretzel they're huge and it comes with salt and cinnamon sugar and it's just such a fun fall um, food item to have if you're outside hanging out um, and you just bake them in the oven 
and they're really inexpensive and they're so good they even come with their own little like sleeves to serve them in and it's so yummy i actually discovered um that this little hack from going to an apple orchard and i asked them where they got their pretzels and i loved them so much and and they they get them from sam's club but they don't get them like in the frozen department they get them from the deli and like somebody has to help you but you can buy like a whole box of these frozen soft baked pretzels and they're so good for our activities or or for like big group gatherings because you really get a lot of pretzels but they're inexpensive and they're so good so i would recommend all of these food items to go along with any of these activities just because when when you combine like an activity with one of these foods it's just a really good mood overall <laughs> and then i had a couple other ideas that i wanted to put into this video and then um two of them are for kids like specifically if you have kids and the first one is go on a fall like a search and find in nature where you can find different colored leaves and pine cones and just go around and collect the different things that you find in nature and um, you can have a list of all the different things that you could find including like um, if you see a pumpkin on somebody's porch or something like that so I'm gonna link that search and find list list down below as well and then um, the other idea that I, I had if you have kids is that you can um, get leaves from outside and use those as like um, like stamping you can use them to stamp on paper or canvas and you just paint them and then you stamp them so that's kind of a fun activity in the fall time for kids to and then the very last thing that I wanted to um, mention in this video was if you do go thrifting or out shopping for fall gear it's fun to stock up on cozy things like socks and scarves and hoodies and sweaters and hats and just get those things that usually people wear in the fall time and get yourself all prepped for fall come back home snuggle in and watch a movie and maybe do a cross stitch anyways i i hope this video is very helpful for you guys i love thinking about these things and thinking about combining oh we could paint pumpkins and have pretzels or or put you know one of these food items and one of these activity items together and make a really fun fall activity for you and your family and your friends and i will see you all in my next video bye